cover one crew what is going on we made it it is draft day baby and i mean okay i discuss so many things when it comes to player profile scouting reports fantasy football today is the day that i get to be a fan of the team that i support y'all know i support the buffalo bills and it is my time to at least gush over potential of what the buffalo bills could do on draft day i am so excited there's my wish list, okay? And this is what we do on draft day. I want to have a wish list. I, I, why can't I have one, okay? I break down everything uh, without bias, without any kind of issue. And even with this, I'm still going to go relatively unbiased. But as a Bills fan, there's certain things that I do want from, from this team. And I think, you know what, we're, we all know, okay? We're on the cusp of winning the Super Bowl. We are still one of the best teams in the entire NFL. We are there. Now, all of a sudden, we got Aaron Rodgers to deal with in our division. No bueno, I do not like it. So what does that mean more so than ever? Because the AFC is just loaded like we know. You got to get more playmakers on this offense. That's my number one goal here. I understand. We need offensive line assistance. We need defensive help. I get it, okay? So do not crucify me because I am a fan today and I think it's warranted how I want to do this but bear with me stay with me because I think there is some good potential here in this draft that the Buffalo Bills could you know improve drastically and immensely and I think uh, you know we should be on board with this first option that has been been floating out there is the trade with the uh, Arizona Cardinals and that's for DeAndre Hopkins. So, you know, the rumor's been flying out there that it's D-Hop plus a 34th uh, overall pick for the Buffalo Bills' 27th pick. Yes, it's rumors. Yes, it's speculation. But why not let's speculate right now and say, what if this deal does come to pass, comes to fruition? This is gorgeous because now we don't have to necessarily utilize a draft pick on a wide receiver and we get one of the better talents in the NFL to team up with Stephon Diggs and Gabriel Davis. I mean, this is just heaven for Josh Allen and the potential passing attack for the Buffalo Bills we know this it's hope you know he wants to come to Buffalo apparently Von Miller has been doing a lot of recruiting we know this but at pick number 34 here's how you flip this man go and get Jack Campbell otherwise we riot because I'm all on board with this whole situation we trade for D-Hop we move back in the draft a few spots and we go and get a linebacker that is a massive need now that uh, Tremont, uh, Tremaine Edmonds excuse me is now no longer on the club we require a linebacker that can do it all Jack Campbell does check a lot of the boxes if not all of them and he is one of these players that the Buffalo Bills would be absolutely lucky to get at this point this this is scenario number one. This is exactly how I want this to fall. Let the football gods come down and make this thing happen because if DeAndre Hopkins gets on the squad with Stephon Diggs, I mean, good Lord, it's going to be gorgeous. We know the Miami Dolphins got Jalen Ramsey. We need more playmakers. This division is not a cakewalk by any stretch of the imagination. I understand a lot of, you know, memes going around even about an Aaron Rodgers joining the Jets. He uplifts the team regardless of what anybody wants to say. It's going to be a lot tougher now to play those New York Jets, especially with how good that defense is. The offense has offensive weapons and punch, so it's not going to be no cakewalk. The Dolphins still are a good squad, very good defense, very talented. The Bills need to get better and get more playmakers, and in this situation, we also get Jack Campbell, so we're filling a need and getting one of the best linebackers potentially in this draft. Draft class, you got to love that. Second scenario, if we do not get the trade for DeAndre Hopkins, I get it. We still require the linebacker, but I want offensive punch, man. I don't care. I, I, we want more playmakers on this team. Uh, pick number 27, either Jordan Addison or a Zay Flowers. I think it's very important to get one of these two individuals. We require that slot presence to be the assister in this offense as well. You can see clearly last year as the year moved on, you know, it was somewhat figured out. We couldn't move the ball as good, and I, I think this would help the Bills immensely in the slot presence presence as well Jordan Addison is an absolute freak man the separation this man creates on the field in the slot would be gorgeous for Josh Allen be great for this passing attack where Zay Flowers is a playmaker in his own right and he could open up a lot of lanes for Stefan Diggs and Gabriel Davis bring Gabe back to his top end statistics that we love to see even though a lot of y'all be cussing my guy Gabe Davis do not do that he is still a great wide receiver but Jordan Addison or Zay Flowers for me here at 
127 is definitely warranted. I get why people are saying, no, we need offensive line here at offensive tackle here at 27. I completely get it and would not hate that either. But if we're talking straight up playmakers that I want to see this off, it's Super Bowl or bust, man. What are we doing? If we're, st we're basically standing still, just rounding out the roster, we need playmakers, man. It's no different than what the Bengals did when they had T. Higgins and drafted Jamar Chase. This is what we require, more offensive talent, and I'm going to stick to my guns here. If we do not get an Addison or a Zay Flowers, I am totally comfortable trading back from the first round and getting Josh, uh, Josh Downs. Don't know how we're going to be able to do this and get Jack Campbell, but I mean, I believe in uh, uh, Brandon Bean. I think that he could make this thing work. If we can manage to get uh, uh, Josh Downs on this offense, he's just a magician, man. Probably one of the better route runners out of this wide receiver class. His field awareness is absolutely insanity, insane. And I mean, he would do absolutely wonders for this Bills offense as well. A lot of comps coming out. You know, he could fill that Cole Beasley type of role. And I think he could even do better than what Cole Beasley did. You're talking Wes Welker type of situations, even better with speed that Josh Downs does possess. And I, be I totally believe the Buffalo Bills need to go in this direction if it does fall this way. Highly unlikely we could see Jordan Addison or Zay Flowers here at 27 so the trade down would make a lot of sense but I mean you got to have a trading partner we completely understand and moving down in the draft is very difficult at times but if we're moving on you, you guys are not going to like this the ones that hate running backs but running backs wish list time baby this is what I'm talking about it's my my wish list you can't cuss me I got my own wish list and I get it. Everybody hates running backs now, okay? And we're going back to the last year's draft class. I was a massive advocate for a James Cook, and I understand they, put, they took him high, took him early last year, so it's probably unlikely that they're going to go and draft another running back high. I understand completely. They signed Damian Harris. I get it. They believe they can, uh, you know, go in this direction. However... If the draft board does fall in this direction where a uh, Zach Charbonnet is in the third round, you cannot pass this up. Highly unlikely he's going to be here in the third round. I'm telling you, it's a wish list. Relax, man. I can, I can feel y'all judging me. Stop judging me. But Zach Charbonnet in the third round would be an absolute glorious get for the Buffalo Bills. You require a three-down running back who is huge. And he's got uh, light feet. He's got good hands. He can be your three-down volume back that you require. Close out contest, man. Biggest problem i get it okay and everybody's got a problem they say you know josh allen can run the football damn right he can do you want him to continue to run the football the way he is i'm not saying stop josh allen from running the football but limit it overall that he doesn't have to do it if you're on a third and one third and two hand it to a big beast like charbonnet he's gonna pick you up two yards no problem man so this is where i'm going with this josh allen could now be the x factor whether uh, rather than being what uh, the relied upon resource in the backfield uh, running the football to gain us first downs Charbonnet is the real deal he is legit you go watch any amount of his film he is a damn good running back and he would be a great get for the Buffalo Bills even if you mix it up Charbonnet with a James Cook I love it all day long because now you have great change of pace you got good speed you got your bully you got your goal line back and both uh, running backs can catch the ball so I'm, I'm good with it man third round Zach Charbonnet is my guy fourth round if we're talking running backs Okay, we're talking offensive pieces. Again, I understand we need offensive line. We need defense. Stop judging me. I'm telling y'all. But uh, uh, Roshan Johnson in the fourth round, he, I think, is an absolute steal. This guy's got three down back potential written all over him. This is what, why they kind of got a Damian Harris to be that change of pace back. That's a different skill set than a James Cook. Roshan would uh, service in that uh, same respect handsomely and do it very well. He's got great. Uh, 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 he's got a great body frame. Excuse me. He can also catch the ball. He's got goal line upside. He He's athletic. I mean, okay, the top end wheels aren't there, but we already saw this with Devin Singletary. He didn't have the top end wheels, but I think Roshan is absolutely even better in that sense where he could, you know, produce a lot more on the ground than what Singletary did, even though I'm not cussing Singletary. We love we love some motor, but I'm just saying Roshan Johnson in the fourth round is an absolute gem, and the Buffalo Bills would be lucky to have him. In the fifth or sixth round, if, uh, you know, okay, we're, we're completely uh, removing running backs early on in the draft. Tank Bigsby, if he falls here in the fifth or sixth round this is an absolute theft in its own right because tank bigsby is being slept on in every circle that i've seen 
This man is a three-down volume back as well. They want to cr uh, criticize the lack of breakaway wheels. I do not care, man. Tank Bigsby is put together. He can also catch the ball. Yes, he's not going to shake and juke everybody out of their pants, but he's got enough abilities to be a uh, high-volume running back. 200 carries, no problem for a Tank Bigsby. So here's the situation. Yeah, I know you got Damian Harris. You got uh, uh, James Cook. You add a Tank Bigsby. If one of these guys get hurt, you got Tank in the, in the waiting ready to go and he's going to be able to give you some good volume and upside as well he is short yardage back he is goal line back so I mean there's a lot of upside with these guys in this draft class at the running back position it is very deep extremely deep but these are the guys that I'm really hoping that they could potentially get pegged for the Buffalo Bills but I said, like I said, I get it. We need a lot. Of, we have a lot of needs. I understand, man. Offensive tackle's a big one. Guard's a big one. I get it. We want those pieces filled. I mean, I could even put in some defensive talent like Akili Ringo, man. That's another wish list player of mine. But I'm only speaking offensively. I do believe that the Buffalo Bills are at the point where we need to add more playmakers. We got to keep up with the Joneses in that respect because they are all getting better offensively. And we kind of, you know, we're good. We're good. I'm not saying we're not. We're still probably the best team in the AFC East but the challenge is going to be that much more difficult now with Aaron Rodgers in the mix and then obviously Miami uplifting their defense. But this draft is, like I said, I got, I'm a fan too. This is a fan show because I want to talk what I want to talk about today. Hopefully y'all don't criticize me that much, but I got my wish list. And I mean, it's draft day, baby. Round one, round two, round three. I mean, Cover One Main Channel's got you covered for all draft coverage. I will also be there as well. So definitely uh, check us out on the Cover One Main Channel. But nevertheless, as always, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, jump in those comments, give me your thoughts. I mean, what do you guys want the Bills to do? Drop them in the comments. Let's talk it out, man. You criticize my picks, I'm going to block you. I'm just kidding. It's fine. Criticize all you want. I mean, this is open for debate anywhere we want. So anyway, we'll see you next time. Have a great time watching the draft, man. I am out.